Hi third graders, welcome to this week's video lesson where we learn about a new instrument today called the cello. You can see the cello right here. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Mr. Bamble. I am one of the elementary school string instrument teachers that you have not seen very much because of our distance learning these days, but I do hope I can see you in person someday. Let's compare the cello to the violin, as since it's an instrument we know about. So you can see that there are a lot of similarities between these two instruments. They're both the same shape, they're both made out of largely wood, and many of the parts are the same. So you can see things like both have fine tuners, both have a bridge, four strings, a scroll, neck, fingerboard, and some other ones as well. So these instruments are also quite different from each other as well. You can see that the cello is much bigger than the violin. And the cello is one of your 4th and 5th grade string instrument choices if you choose to take strings class. And the size is an important thing to consider, because the size of the cello means it's going to be held differently. I would never hold an instrument this large over my shoulder, so when I hold it, it's supported on the ground and in between my knees. Now what supports it on the ground is this metal rod here, which is called the end pin. So instead of having a chin rest, like the violin and the viola have, the cello has an end pin, and that helps me hold the instrument and balance it more easily. So some other things to mention about differences in the cello. You can see here that they are different colors. So this is a dark, deep red on my cello, and this is a light brown on this violin. However, the color should not be a reason why you choose an instrument, because you can get a cello that's the color of this violin, and you get a violin that's the color of this cello. So don't choose an instrument based on its color. The other thing to consider here is that this cello has three pegs compared to the four on this violin. However, most cellos do have four pegs. In fact, this cello does have a fourth peg, it just it's removable. And this is a cello specially made for me, because when I want to sit tall in musician position, this peg would be going to my neck. So by having it removable, it helps you sit in musician position more easily and more comfortably. But most cellos you'll see have four pegs, and most people can do just fine with four pegs on the cello. So the other important factor in choosing which string instrument you want to choose if you join strings class is the sound. So we should hear what the cello sounds like to help you consider. So you can hear the cello has a very low, deep range, and it's much lower and deeper than the violin. So if you, even if you hear the cello's highest string, like this, you can hear that even the high string on the cello doesn't sound that high. In fact, this high string on the cello is around uh, the violin's lowest notes possible. So here is the range of the cello when it goes all the way down to its lowest range. So you can hear how low the cello can get. So some of you might be wondering, what about the viola? Because we talked about how the viola is lower than the violin, and the cello is also lower than the violin, but what about the cello and the viola? So here, the cello is even lower than the viola. Uh, part of the reason why you can tell is, well, the sound, but also you can see that the cello is just even larger than the viola. So the general rule is the larger an instrument is, the lower the sound it makes. So the violin has a high range, the cello has a low range, and the viola has a range in the middle. And because we want to sound like an orchestra in strings class, we want students playing all different types of instruments so we can get many different ranges of sound and have a very nice blend that we could not make 
if we didn't have many ranges of sound playing together. So, I will play some more, and you'll probably recognize this one. Cavalero played this on the viola, but you might recognize it from somewhere else. I'm going to play some more. So the nice low range of the cello can kind of give it this mellow, relaxed character. Now, a lot of people think that classical music is very relaxing music to listen to, and they're not wrong, but there's also more to classical music because there can be energetic, exciting music as well, like this. <laughs> viola, the cello is a very versatile instrument. You can play all different types of music. You can even play heavy metal. And you can also play fiddle style music, just like the viola and violin. cello can sound like, and if you decide that you like the sound of strings, and that you want to choose a string instrument, consider which sound and which range you like most, and help that determine what instrument you choose. So as a bonus, I will play a little more of that last piece. It was called Giulio, it's by a cellist named Mark Summer, he wrote this piece, so the cello can play fiddle stock music. Can be a lot of fun if you work hard and practice hard as well. <laughs>